Today's quote is, this country has not seen and probably will never know the true level of a sacrifice of our veterans by Thomas N. Smith. The CMS Showcase is happening December 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. We are going to have food available to purchase like Domino's Pizza, Cookies, Chips, and Bottled Water. Raffle tickets will be for sale for the baskets that are going to be put together by our teachers in the P-Tag. We will have a photo booth with pictures taken by our digital media students. Lots of our awesome work will be displayed around the school. We also have a school dance coming up on Thursday, plan on to attending. Remember, interim reports for the quarter second are due next Friday. Keep working hard. Veterans Day in the U.S. holiday dedicated to American veterans of all wars. And Veterans Day 2022 is today, Friday, November 11th. In 1918, of the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, an armistice of the truth and an agreement to stop fighting was declared between the Allied nation and the Germany in World War I, the Great War. November 11th became a federal holiday in the United States in 1938. After World War II and the Korean War, Armistice Day became known as Veterans Day. The day's activities include parades and public ga gatherings, as well as a brief pause in business and school activities at 11 a.m. to honor our country's veterans. Gilbert Seltzer was drafted to the Army when World War II broke out. Soon after he joined the army, he was told he would be put on a top secret mission, and an unconventional one at that. He had been selected to lead a group of men in a unit dubbed the Ghost Army, made up of mostly artists, creatives, and engineers. Their mission? Deception. From inflatable tanks to phony convoys to spreading information in bars, they used any possible trick to fool the enemy and they did a great job. Here's one story Mr. Seltzer told about his service and trickery. We would move into the woods in the middle of the night, going through villages in France, Belgium, and Germany. We would turn the sound on so that it sounded like tanks moving on the roads. The natives would say to each other, did you see the tanks moving through town last night? And they were not lying. They thought they were seeing them. Imagination is unbelievable. Thank you, Gilbert Seltzer, for your service to our country. Hi, my name is Mrs. Tucker, and the veteran in my life is my grandpa. His name is Don, which is actually my middle name because I'm named after him. So my name is Kylie Don Tucker. Um, he was a Marine in the Vietnam War, and just something a little funny about him, his nickname is Dozer, so he has a tattoo of a bulldozer to represent that. Okay, I'm Mrs. Lyons. Um, my grandfather was in the Navy, and he served well, back in, I want to say it was World War II, and he spent a lot of time traveling the country because he got sick many times while he was in the Navy. We would always have to catch up with his group and go out to sea. Hello, I'm right. Miss Lepla, and for Veterans Day, my dad served in the Korean War in the communications. He is now 95 years old. He lives alone, still drives. He's a wonderful man. Um, yeah, happy Veterans Day. <laughs> 